Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brad, Yamaha Marine Center. Got a special boat for you today. Excited to go through it. But first, you know where we are. Orange Park, just off of 295. You can hear the noise out there. <clears throat> right next to Napa Auto Parts. And across the street from Adam at Carly Davidson Orange Park. Shout out to those guys. We'll charge them later for some advertising. But, why this one's special? Because it's a 2020 Pursuit Dual Console 235. The gentleman came in and bought it about three months ago. Enjoyed it so much, he came back and bought the 26 foot version. So, first service is complete, which was done at 20 hours. It's about 50 hours on the clock now. Shouldn't need anything for quite a while. But, let's go into the boat. Dual Console 235. 24 feet 4 inches overall, 8 feet 6 inches on the beam. Draft with the engine out of the water, about 1 feet 9 inches, 1 foot, 1 foot 9 inches. <clears throat> engine down 2 feet 8 inches. Uh, clearance from waterline, which is really right at the bootstripe. They do a pretty good job. Um, to the hard top, 7 feet 2 inches. 5,350 pounds dry with a 105 gallon fuel tank. Um, it does have a freshwater tank on this model. We optioned it with it originally. So that's nine gallons with a 13 gallon holding tank. Maximum horsepower is on the boat at 300 uh, with a true 21 degree dead rise. As with all the pursuits, they call them mission capable. We call them offshore boats, but you can see the very steep entry on the boat with the very aggressive lifting strikes. Uh, not that this boat needs much help with 300 horsepower, but it really gets the boat up out of the water. Um, quickly and also that uh, big secondary reverse chine running the whole length of the boat down there helps deflect water keep you nice and dry because there's not a ton of flare on this boat this one actually feels like it has a little bit more than maybe the 26 um, but the boats are, are very similar in layout and design uh, this one does not have a through stem anchor it's over the top but there is a windlass installed uh, we'll leave a little bash plate in case you uh, Get a little funky with the anchor. <clears throat> the way we're pricing the boat is going to be with the trailer as well. Horn, Westco aluminum trailer, drive on trailer, custom made for the boat. Shouldn't call it custom necessarily. The bunks are still adjustable in case you wanted to adjust the ride height or something. But aluminum wheels, brakes on both axles, torsion axles, LED lights. Beautiful trailer. Back to the boat. Um, covers. The front tonneau cover, tonneau cover, however you want to pronounce it. The uh, cockpit cover here. We'll get this all pulled off and go through the boat a little bit better. But all that comes with the boat. Same with the trailer. I think I mentioned that. Guide-ons, nice garlic, uh, three-rung ladder, which push one and they all come up. And then it stows inside the boat there. So you don't have to go trying to pull the ladder out when you're on top of the boat to get out of the boat and then have to cover or uh, close the cover with a ladder in there or something like that. Nice big transom extensions. This is something they started doing several years ago. It gives it kind of a more of a modern, dare I say, European look. <clears throat> but they are functional as well. So nice and wide for boarding from the dock since it does not have a side dive door. It's just this uh, stern access door. And then you can get all the way around the engine if you, in case you had to pull cowling off to work on the engine. Or if you're diving, multiple people can be back here on the platforms. Very useful. And then also, if you foul a prop, which you probably can't see it here, I think I got the batteries turned on. You can get the boat in a position where you can work on the prop from the transom. So if you got fishing line, ski rope, something like that, you can trim the engine up without having to get in the water in case you're out in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Oh, Seablaze Quattro lights, RGBW, basically full spectrum. Uh, Yamaha painted engine, really nice trim tabs. There's that 21 degree dead rise. It's kind of a rounded stern, I guess to give a little bit more water to the engine. But uh, like I said, these transom platforms are nice and acting almost like giant trim tabs. So once the boat's up and running and you can see a little notch right there, 
but the running surface is actually down here so these are completely out of the water which reduces the wetted surface and really reduces the uh, surface tension um, there you go that's good waste pump out so it does have a holding tank nice pop-up cleats um, we'll get the uh, cover pulled off and go through the inside of the boat here for you and the other side of the uh, transom extensions here I don't know can't really give a good scale walking around. It's easy, a lot of room, so we can just trimmed up and it's in your way. Um, but coming into the boat, customer did add uh, Sea Deck, Castaway Customs, guys did a great job. Matches the upholstery really well. Uh, but entering the cockpit of the boat, fairly roomy cockpit for a 24 foot boat. Still a lot tighter than like the 26, um, but there's still room for fishability. I think the only thing that really takes away from it is the uh, gigantic size of the hard top. Poke my eyeball out here with this VHF antenna. Actually, that's AM FM antenna, and then VHF is over there. And then comes with the American flag for you. We'll go ahead and stow that in the boat. Uh, stainless anchor mast all around LED back there. Um, he did install the ski pylon as well. So that's what you see there, recessed in, and that pops up. Too weak to do it in one hand. Um, little entertainment center cooler insulated cooler with a uh, fresh water shower right here JL audio all the way around the boat rod holders strategically placed uh, we can get more rod holders as well I think they offer a set for the transom and then we can get hardtop rod holders that go on the upper side of the hardtop in case you want more room uh, for, for storage and rods and stuff like that uh, aft seat see the backrest pops up this is really nice, it's a lot higher in the back. Uh, even on this, uh, which is pretty much the smallest boat they make, um, you really get to feel like you're in the boat. The gunnel height is very substantial. Nice height, so if you have younger kids, it's easy to keep them inside the boat. Uh, bilge access is down here. Not the most convenient way to get to the pumps and stuff, but it's functional actually gives you pretty decent space to get in there uh, batteries are down there you can see that ski pole mount uh, through holes pumps uh, typical pursuit fashion everything's finished with a little liner in between the grid there close that up uh, you see the raw water here which that hose in the bilge is used to access the raw water pump more jail audio all around courtesy lighting uh, live well decent size uh, this guy didn't ever fish the boat so he just used this as an additional cooler because it is insulated and then coming to the aft facing seat kind of a neat design you know folds out into a lounger gives some of the ability to kind of stretch out and then it gets out of the way again for fishability uh, here is your electrical panel voltmeter main switches, main battery switch, windlass, and then all your breakers down there. Everything's easy to get to. Uh, JL sub, a little bit more storage, some tackle, free salt packets. And uh, you can also pull this completely out. You see it's uh, caulked in, but you can access some of the rigging under the seat and stuff like that. And then coming over to the custom Pursuit logos built into the sea deck, nice touch bridge deck with the Garmin 8612 XSV, 6YC gauges, uh, typical pursuit finish on this, everything's real pretty, JL audio head unit, trim tab controls, side binnacle, it is uh, electronic, and then your Garmin VHF, I believe that's the 315 model, black box, uh, head, Plenty of room, it has a magnetic catch on it as well, so if you're out there bouncing around, the door's not swinging around. But plenty of room to kind of back in there and get done what you need to get done. It is a, a manual pump, and you have another freshwater spigot in there in the sink. And then the freshwater fill is probably the most inconvenient area ever, but you can get a hose in there. It's all right. Little complaints here and there. Now onto the good stuff. Uh, Pursuit's been doing this ever since the 266 came out back in 2011, but doing a, f a full fiberglass with glass windshield on a 24-foot boat uh, 
to make it kind of give it that express style look uh, and fully enclose the bridge deck with eyes and glass and real glass just great visibility on this boat you don't have a bunch of pipes sticking down everywhere this is really the only support for the front of the hard top um, and then again that fiberglass is, is a structural member and then the aft section of the hard top here um, gives it a real nice sturdy feel and huge huge hard top goes the full beam of the boat uh, which is probably the biggest selling feature of this boat is just the weather protection and keeping you comfortable um, you can like I said fully enclose the bridge deck with the windshield I'm probably gonna hit this seat now yes I am show you that later but you get the idea fully enclose the bridge deck when the windshield's closed and that little fold down piece of eyes and glass uh in a pretty heavy rain it does really well more storage in here uh should be a trash can somewhere dock line holders access through to your electronics all the rigging in there and then more courtesy lights up front more jail audio the cushions up front are fixed to the seat bases, but you do have full access underneath um, here, which everything in the boat is also designed to drain overboard. So no stinky, messy bilge water all over the boat. Uh, some 12 volt outlets, charge the phone. Again, there's lighting all the way around up on this boat. Uh, anchor locker. Let's see you have a windless remote down there hang back up on the handy dandy holder and then always secure your anchor in case your windlass decides to let go but nice spot to tie off and then you can still close the anchor locker with the rope or road if you prefer exposed but all in all great boat now everybody's probably asking how much is it um should have probably talked about that earlier but this boat normally sells price range wise depending on options probably anywhere in the 120s 130s uh before a trailer this boat we are offering at 119 with a trailer with all the options installed uh so if you're interested in this or any other boats we have the offer here give us a call 904-644-7631 904-644-7631 I think I said that right ask for Brad or Barton or you can always get us on the website at Yamaha Marine J-A-X dot com over and out